Top three games I'd suggest uh, out of this year to play is um, first of all you got Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, obviously it is kind of like a Call of Duty and um, game but except it's got first person and third person and then when you're in game you can switch between first and third person. Um, another thing I also like about the care um, the game is that it's really detailed, really graphics. Uh, the characters like stand out really well. Um, characters like John Grievous, he's got um, great mobility. Um, they just had an update um, a couple days ago uh, with OB1. Uh, they got phenomenal um, voice actors from like the Clone Wars series um, that I think premieres on. CBS, I think, uh, for kids, uh, or Cartoon Network, um, and then, like, you can play offline, it's a totally offline game, you can, um, play offline with friends, or if you're, like, moving away and you have a console, you can play on that, um, and it's a lot of fun, um, and then the next game I want to get into is DC Universe Online, this is actually a game that came out, on uh, 2000. Eight or around the time I was born so it's a really old game and it's still very popular um, and what this game is is that if you create your own you can create your own hero villain and you can have um, your own powers uh, to, to the villains and heroes that you create as well as like customization there's a lot of customization in the game but uh, the downside to that is that you would have to unlock um, it through levels that you complete in the game um, and then if uh, PVE is not your thing then they have player versus player uh, with iconic heroes and villains that you can be from doing this thing called Legends PvP and unlocks these things called Le Marks of Legends and you can play as these um, great heroes um, obviously um, the graphics are really up to date even though it's old they got good voice actors like Mark Hamill and then Kevin Cornway for Batman I believe that's his uh, name uh, they're both really good voice actors um, to play as Batman and Joker um, but then you also got like Green Lanterns you got um, uh, you got the Teen Titans uh, basically everything from DC and then obviously a lot of people know about this one Fortnite uh, I love the Fortnite mostly because uh, customization all the skins they got all the emotes um, they just recently came out with a chapter 2 of this game which is very um, cool they updated the entire game so it looks totally new um, it's costing content um, with the item shops, so that like it resets every 24 hours at 8 o'clock. Um, very nice. Um, they do um, battle royale, and if that's not your thing, they have a thing called Save the World. Uh, battle royale is free, um, but the Save the World part, um, where it's just you're facing off against a bunch of zombies, that's actually purchasable, um, but you really don't have to. Um, again, they, um, came out with the update and, um, they added a whole bunch of new stuff, um, that is great to the game. Um, they added back a whole lot of stuff that people enjoy, and I can't wait to see Fortnite evolve with this new, um, chapter and what else they got in store. I'm Anthony Marr, and thank you for tuning in.